In this video, we are going to explain the Stewart Gies. And this Stewart Gies method in that aim is to determine the field of induction at several points on the axis of circular coil which is carrying the current using a Stewart Gies type. So, for that apparatus, this is the tangent galvanometer and it is a magnetic compass. Now, in this magnetic compass, the needle which shows the magnetic deflections. And this, in this setup, we have this uh, terminal so for to connect the number of uh, coils. Now here, the number of coils we are connecting by based on these values. If it is 50, now the number of uh, coil turns are 50. If I connected from here to here, now this is 100 number of turns, uh, which is uh, N. N is equal to number of turns, that is uh, 100 number of turns in the coil. Now here, if you observe here, this is the zero, that means a starting uh, zero position. Now, this scaling uh, will have the possibility to keep the magnetic compass in exact location. And now this is the circular coil and this is the axis of this circular coil. Now in this circular coil, when we are giving the electrical current, magnetic field will be produced in this direction. Now here, I need to find the magnetic induction at the several points uh, on this uh, circular coil axis. For that reason, here it has the scale. Now in this scale, first I kept a 0. Now let me see that you have to keep that 0, 0 location. Now if you observe the magnetic compass, it is the 0, 0 location. Let me check either it is the 0, 0 location. By adjusting like this, you have to keep, you have to keep, now see, it is 0, it is 0. So in both direction, you have to keep it as exactly 0, 0. Now I am trying to keep it as, yeah, now it has 0, 0. And one more instruction for doing this experiment, you don't keep any magnetic material with you and iron materials with you. So please remove the iron watches or whatever it may be uh, with you that you have to remove that to get the exact dislocations. So this is the task first we have to keep it zero zero. Now it is okay. Now coming to the circuit. Now coming to the circuit. Now first we have to connect the two ends of the circular coil which is an opposite for this. Now this total setup is called tap key. Now this tap key is allowing the electrical current in a particular direction. Now these two is one circuit. Now these two is another circuit. So now here these two ends I connected for opposite terminals. This connection here and this connection here. Now the another two ends we have to stop. Now the another end here I connected see. Now this end I connected for the rheostat other end. Now from the rheostat another end to battery which is DC power supply for that positive I connected. Now the DC power supply negative to ammeter positive, ammeter negative I have to connect. Now ammeter positive terminal to which is the opposite and remaining of the tap. Now in this we completed the total uh, circuit uh, how to connect. So now here the circuit is over. After, after completing the connections, we have to switch on the DC power switch. So when the DC power is on, now the electrical current is passing through this. Now when you can see this, this is the ammeter, which is reading have 2, my, two amperes. Now if we can use the rear, rear stack, then the current will vary in the ammeter. But here I am keeping now, but here I am keeping now 2 amperes by adjusting the rear stack. Now see here. Now it is adjusted for 2 amperes. Now the current is fixed. Now the current is fixed. Now coming to this, we have to use to remove these two tap keys which are in opposite. Now by removing these two opposite tube tap keys, now you see. Once again I am keeping here. Now, now it is 0, 0. But when we remove these two tap keys, then the current supply is applied for this coil now the current when it is moving through this coil magnetic field will be produced that magnetic field affects uh, see now that magnetic field is affects the magnetic field deflection and uh, the needle shows the magnetic deflection now 
coming to here the tabular column what we have here see now the distance of the deflection magnetometer from the center of the coil now here it is x is equal to 0 so I kept x is equals to 0 now the deflections in the magnetometer in east side that means that this is the east side and now this is from here to in this direction this is the west side now if you observe in the tabular column in this tabular column theta 1 and theta 2 is here you may consider downward direction that means towards uh, in our direction it is theta 1 and that is theta 2 now this is theta 1 and this is theta 2 so here you have to observe theta 1 value and write down in this theta 1 and similarly for theta 2 which is in back side now theta 3 theta 4 we need to find for that again I have to keep these two pins like this this theta 1 and theta 2 is over now I need to find theta 3 and theta 4 now for that just I am removing these two opposite pins now again you observe the deflection now you have to find theta 3 that is the lowest value in our side and theta 4 that is in above side theta 3 theta 4 now these two values I provided in theta 3 and theta 4 so this is for east side but here when we are considering zero value then there is no east and there is no west so that's why in this zero theta 1 theta 2 theta 4 in east and west are both are same so that's why it is the uh, same values what you got here it is the same value here also you got now coming to close here let you observe theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 then it is uh, mean theta e so that means uh, here that uh, values you are finding that chart. so here theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta 4 so adding this theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 by 4 will gives the theta east similarly for theta west also you have to add theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta 4 by 4 now for this theta e is the mean theta e here we have to consider now for this mean theta e you have to apply the tan theta e then this will use the tan theta e value in the same way you have to do in west side also after completing in east and west for the various 4 8 12 and 16 these values also you have to vary with the here in the scale from 0 and here it is 2 and here it is 6 and uh, like that uh, you have to do up to 20 centimeters if you observe here so 0 to 20 here it is actually 10 so in 10 values you can do that 20 now it is 18 now it is uh, 16 now it is uh, 14 now it is uh, 12 now it is 10 it is 8 it is uh, 6 it is uh, 4 it is uh, 2 it is 0 so in that way you have to do that different uh, distance in the circular coil in the east side in this column east side in this column is west side now this theta e mean and this theta e that means the theta west mean so here it is the theta e mean here it is the theta w mean so now theta e mean plus theta west mean by 2 will gives the total theta now this theta is the total angle of a deflection now the for this theta you have to apply tan then that value you have to write here tan theta and here we are providing some values now this tan theta actual theoretical value what is the formula here means b is equals to now you can see here it is b is equals to b e tan theta now this values we got uh, 1.159 into 10 power minus 4 now what it is having 10 to the power of minus 4 into 1.1 here also if you apply this uh, formula to find the magnetic induction in experimental this is called experimental value it is the theoretical value so this is the theoretical value what we got here the experimental value what we got here is an approximate equal then our experiment is uh, succeeded now for that here what is the formula and how to do the calculation let me check now here mu means what it is the permeability which is having the value is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. Now what about this n? Here n is equals to 
uh, the number of turns here it is the number of turns in this coil so that means uh, that number of turns is n is equal to here it is 100 number of turns and i is equal to let me check i is equal to how much here now you may see here it is approximately it is a uh, two uh, meters so firstly we firstly we fixed that two meters that we can check by keeping the tap key by keeping the tap key now you can check that it will come 2 amperes so that's why by keeping that uh, you have to consider i is equals to 2 amperes now what about uh, the a a is here the radius of the coil a is here the radius of the coil now we can uh, we can find that so now the radius of this coil you have to use general scale by keeping here from in this end to this end now when i am keeping here now i got here it is approximately yeah 18 centimeters now you can see that it is getting a 18 centimeters so 18 centimeters means uh, diameter is the 18 centimeters then d is equals to 18 centimeters then r is equals to 9 r is the radius 9 centimeters so that's why here a is equals to in this it is 9 centimeter that you have to convert into 9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters so a is equal to 9, point, uh, 9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters and n is equal to 100 and i is equal to 2 mu is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 and 2 into where x is the various uh, values for the various uh, uh, distance that we are keeping and we are finding the values and finally this experiment is uh, over